How's it going guys? Back in Path of Exile and today I am playing on the Fire Trap Elementalist because I need to farm money if I'm going to ever want to finish my idea for the Blade Trap Poison. So I'm farming for Harvest to try and craft a claw that will need to be created and I need to dump out some of these quarter crafting benches. So I went through my div card tab, picked out the best stuff that I had. Most valuable card in there was the Enlightened. And we're going to gamble that. And, and we've got two Enlightens. Still got two Enlightens. Up to three. It'd be big money if you get this. Six. Beautiful. Um... Those are 0.7x each. Level 3 Enlightened's gonna be something. Um, got one more. I used the, the. No, that's the patient, not the nurse. Uh, we'll put the Soul Taker cards in here. See if we can get a Soul Taker. Nope. Yeah, we broke even on that one. Well, that was cool. Got a level three in power out of that. So what I'm doing is I'm running maps like very, very optimized tree here. Uh, get the increased map drops, fa increased favored as well. And I'm running with a little bit of strong boxes. I've got every harvest node on the tree and I've got expedition. And I've got shrines as well. And I'm running with shrines. So the, it's real fast clears. Lots of extra stuff. Uh, we're running Eldric. Or Eater of Worlds influence. And then quick maps to try and spawn boss maps as well. So yeah, they, they're, they're, they go pretty quick. And then like the main goal is to farm harvest and expeditions to make currency. And hopefully be able to craft the claw. So level three enlighten 4.7x. That's would be worth more. It's not. Wait, 5x now. It's okay. That was kind of free. So good stuff. Alright, let me throw a map in here to show you what I've got going on. I'm generally rolling batches of 10 maps that line up with the Scarabs and Sacrifice Fragments stacks. I'm putting Expedition Scarabs in and Cartography Scarabs. I'm trying to get more of my favorited maps, which four are Ashen Woods, four are Toxic Sewers, and four are City Squares. And where are we here? I've got Shrine stuff specced in, so I'm rolling Domination on these. Occasionally, I'll have to run an Immortal Syndicate uh, as the safe houses are getting close to full, make sure they're max level. Uh, but we want things to be quick. Let me move myself back. Um, we want to like pretty much be in and out. We farm the expedition, hope for the harvest, and kill the boss and leave. Nothing else is really going to be slowing me down in here. I don't want blights. I don't want harbingers, breaches, abysses. Like, I want to grab these things, grab my shrines, and dip. Two additional currency items. Now, I am making a couple arch nemesis recipes. I've only got like five of them. Duplicate maps. It's my lucky day. Okay, we got a Gwynn as well. I really like Ashen Woods for farming. Um, expeditions they're generally pretty large ooh there's an ember Zoom. every shrine's giving me two shrine buffs as well it's very nice feels like I almost have a headhunter zooming around so fast all right here is the tents there's the boss 
Another Daryl Quiver, nope. Ran to two graders. Bad. Shrine Roth. Oh, I got a Divine Shrine on even. Imagine that. So I would have seen the harvest probably by now if it was in here. There's not much else left to do in here. Oh, and I missed the Quant Shrine. It's okay, we can use that for... This here, I gotta look for fire. This one's Logbooks. Logbooks Corrupted, I don't care about Corrupted. Um, I'll go over here, Rarity. Quant, Experience. None of those are fire. XP. Okay. Hopefully get a bunch of Astragalis that I can sell. Pretty much my plan to afford a squire. Sell Astragalis. Craft stuff with Rog. Expedition logbook. More astragalis. I mean, I get eight. It's 40 chaos. Easy peasy. Oh, there's three more. Another 15. 55 chaos. I'll take it. And we're under 50. So we can dip. And there we go. That That's map. And then I don't have to worry anything, about anything else. I can throw the next one in. Throw on the domination while it's loading. I dump the stuff and we just go, 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 go. Making that money. All right, after not seeing harvest in literal hours, I got two in the last two maps that I was planning to run for today. And like in both of them, not a single reforged chaos. That kind of sucks. I did get six Kirak missions from the last one though. This one's giving me a extra fragment split. Got a couple life crafts that I don't know what I'm doing with. Honestly, I just spam them on stuff and hope something big happens. I don't have anything to really use lives on. Outside of this, vulnerability on hit gloves. Yeah, I duplicated some scarabs. I put the other things I got in here. I did get a non-green to green. That is sellable. So maybe I get, I get a little bit back on that, but... Uh, what can I change here? Doubts. Change oils. Never seen this give me anything good. And then if I have a six socket of something, I've got a few extra fusings. Rats are good. I got ambers. So yeah, that's... I didn't get what I was looking for out of harvest. I didn't even get, like, attempts at what I've spent hours grinding for. Um... If I really want to farm Harvest, it's probably the exact same way I'd farm Smuggler's Caches. You do Kirak missions, and then you reroll and then run Harvest. Because they are not going to show up in your maps. I'm getting close to another Eater of Worlds. That just dropped 6 linked. Yo. That doesn't happen often. Ooh, and I got speed. 3% chance scarabs. That's solid. That's why scarabs are worth next to nothing. I love it though. 
because I don't have to buy scarabs for if like, oh, I hit a sextant. I'm gonna go run this. Need steel and views, I need those. Uh, basic currency. Stealth Gloves, Unique Chaos Leech, nah. Scarabs though, man I did not pay attention to that strongbox after I clicked it. That is dangerous. Especially when you're... 26% from level 99. You gotta watch out for those. We got two gin. Local. Need your aid. On the other hand, I did get lots, and I mean lots of expedition stuff. You can look at that once I finish this map up. I can probably do another one in here. Be my uh, third temporal bubble of the night. Let's see. Yeah, I got a tree antwoord, so let's do it. It's temporal bubble. All right, this one to Astragali. Okay, that's fine. One of artifacts up there, logbooks. Okay. It's enough for me to commit to a direction. Watch out for fire, though. For me to lose another limb, I, uh... Yeah, go there. Hey, logbook. I haven't seen one. I've only gotten two logbooks tonight. Exotic coinage, though. Okay, let's finish off this. So the tree ant horde in the temporal bubble. I've actually been saving this for this map because it's high quant. Really, it only gave me three. Maybe this one will be better, hopefully. Um, we want an assassin. Yeah, that was a little better. It didn't give me lots of... Yeah, I missed the good one. I would have done this one first. This would have all been... Heists and... Reroll currency. Alright, we need one more. Yeah, the second one's like the good one. Um, that. Brown Shrine, no. That. We got here. Throw the Maldiction on. One more Astragali. Yeah, it's pretty weak pack size on the... Free Ant Horde. I got some Astragali, that's like it. I got too many Scarabs to loot this map. That's... Awesome. I love it. I did get one burial medallion. That's something. 14 Astragali. Five exotic coins, three scrap metal. Like, it's not terrible. I mean, the tree ant horde temporal bubble did give me something.
Okay. So that map is done. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, I got three more burial medallions out of there. All right, so let's check Danig. Exchange items. Four rerolls. Take exotic coinage and astrocolies. Look for log books. Okay. So what are we doing? I've got 321 astragali. You have, it says, I have 7.4 exalts worth of astragali. That's good. That's progress. That's like one tenth of the, the shield. Yikes. Um, but what is this? 14 logbooks. And then I got to run this 58 exotic coins real quick. Okay. I still have 18 exotic coins left and I've run out of greater black sites. All that means is I need to go run one of my logbooks and stock up on this stuff because you get lots of it from there. But decent pull out of there. Um, two stacks of 10 exalt splinters is what made the exalt. 18 stack decks. Those are two chaos each. 59 chaos. 43 regrets. So that's, that's solid. 29 ball orbs is close. One, 186 jewel. Hold two heist contracts and a blueprint. Two corroded fossils. Nine awakened sextants. Like, I think I got my money's worth out of the exact coinage. Two ancient orbs. Those are 19 Siege. I I, I think I um, came out ahead there. And I got some Screaming Essence of Envies because I might end up using those to craft my Claw. Because that'll guarantee the flat Chaos damage that I have yet to hit one time from Harvest. But I want the max tier of it, so... How many do I have? Well, it would only would get eight attempts at it right now. And those are three chaos each. So maybe that's a better idea. I don't know. Um, we, we farmed up a lot of stuff, though. We're... We got two full sets of... Eater of Worlds and... Uh, what's his name? Infinite Hunger. Closing in on the second of those... And my boss maps is looking pretty healthy. I got five full Elder sets in here. I've not seen a single one of these Guardian maps. Got a few Shapers as well. Yeah, I'm missing fragments there, so it's pretty much what I have in here. So that's solid. There could be a lot of currency out of Watcher's Eyes in there. But yeah, that's that's all I've got for today. Uh, maybe maybe tomorrow if I actually feel like pushing the other character, we'll we'll get that going. Uh, but there's still a lot of currency that needs to be made in order to push that build to where I want it to get to. There is one last thing that I have for today's video, and that is where did I put them? I've got two more leveled empowers to go with the enlightened that bricked this one's so close it's okay well it'll be for the next time um use these new ones three and three up to level three empowers 30 chaos that's a loss on both of those but hey got a gamble to win on these yeah, it's usually worth it, actually. So, uh, that's where I'm in today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider hitting the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.